state of affairs in our nation and across the world where locations of power and institutions perpetrate crimes against people and against the earth that sustains people in the name of profit and it's an unsustainable system where greed is rewarded and people aren't the primary concern of collective action. And I'm trying to achieve uh, more transparency in this system. Too often, people's eyes are shielded from uh, those uh, violent goings on, partly because uh, mainstream media is corporate and uh, itself cares more about the bottom line uh, than about the news. I'm here as an individual to stand up against the injustices that have been uh, being perpetrated for an incredibly long time um, against uh, individuals like myself. So I'm here in solidarity with people around the state, uh, people around the nation, and people around the world. Um, we're all standing up together today, and I, it's, it's, we're here to be beautiful together. And collectively, we can act uh, in a way that's responsible to real people in the world, rather than to some uh, elite few. And so what this movement is, is trying to accomplish is a collective large-scale adaptation to the unbearable circumstances that we've all been born into. Oh. That's the most powerful component of the movement here is that it raises people's awareness and it also makes people realize that even though we can sometimes feel marginalized in our own communities, uh, seeing all the violence that goes on and we can sometimes feel incapacitated by it, this movement has made us fully aware that we are not alone in our frustrations and that we are not alone in demanding accountability for uh, crimes against humanity um, and crimes against the earth. The Occupy movement is essentially um, a decentralized, self-organized uh, emergence of the voice of these underrepresented people. Percent is essentially um, the, the portion of the world that is fundamentally and detrimentally underrepresented. The more people that become aware of the ways in which their energies uh, and their money are being exploited, uh, the more they're able to extricate themselves and think critically about the situations and the, and the institutions that surround them. So what this movement is trying to accomplish is something that's fundamentally evolutionary, adaptive, and dynamic. We have to stand up and we have to stay standing up and have our voices heard.